How can you establish a long-lasting relationship with a prospect? Today, you're gonna to understand what you need to know to go from being a salesperson to a trusted friend in the mind of your prospects. Identify the one human trait that you may or may not possess that'll make this strategy successful. Find out how to identify potential points of connection and then gain tools for ensuring that you follow up with them better than their own mother, maybe. Hope you're ready, let's get started. I mentioned earlier that there's a trait that you have to possess that will make this strategy work. We're talking about how to build relationships with prospects so that you go to a trusted friend. The one thing that you have to possess is that you actually have to care. Now, I don't know how to teach you how to care about other people. I'm assuming you already do, but truly not everyone does. And it's not really one of those things that you can fake. So maybe you're a caring person, but when it comes to business, you've always kind of drawn that line. And so for you, it's just very much about business. I'm not saying that you need to have your clients or your prospects at your dinner table. That's not what I'm saying, although some of you may. What I am saying is that I want you to see them as humans and not simply as transactional partners. Start to be curious. If you're not someone who tends to care about your clients and your prospects just yet, start with curiosity. Wonder about them. Wonder what makes them tick, what makes them happy, what makes them excited, what gets them in a good spirit. Just that curiosity will lead to caring. So you do have to care for anything else we talk about today to actually work. Speaking of caring, the next question is, what do they care about? This is your opportunity to listen in a conversation as well as maybe doing a little bit of Googling to find out what it is that they care about. Are there certain nonprofits that they support? Do they have grandchildren where they're at all of their games? Are there particular causes or world issues that capture their attention? Maybe it's even having an understanding of who their pets are or what kind of pets they have. These are all things that will help you form a connection with someone. Now, it doesn't mean that you have to have that thing in common, but it does mean that you have a human connection. I have clients that have all kinds of interests. Um, for instance, I have a client that loves bacon. I mean, absolutely loves bacon. And so oftentimes we have jokes around that. We'll send him gifts around bacon. At the same time, I have people that I'm a client of that know that I absolutely love candy corn. Now, you might be cringing thinking, ooh, I thought she was smart. Guess what? Don't care what you think. Candy corn's delicious. That's my truth. And really it's the truth. But we're going to move on from that because it's a little touchy subject for me. Point is, is that even having a little something funny to tease someone about in a friendly way, if they're that type of person, is something fun. Again, knowing their pets. Now, if you do not know this information, one, you just listen to them when they're talking. Oh, I just got back from vacation this past weekend. Really? Where did you go? They talk a little bit. Oh, me and my kids. Oh my gosh, I didn't know you had kids. How old are they? Okay. So you're getting this information. Now, truly, you're probably not going to store all of this information in here. You might need to use something like a customer relationship management system or a CRM to put that information in there. If not, use whatever technology works for you. Maybe it's in the notes section of your contacts if you use some type of contact system. Maybe it's simply putting a note inside of Evernote or OneNote. Whatever systems you use are fine, but you want to go back and be able to find that information about them so that as you continue to follow up, you can make that very human connection between the two of you. Now, lean in. I'm going to tell you a gold mine for finding out information about most people. You ready? And that would be social media. Oftentimes people post so much information about what they care about, what their interests are, where they're going on social media. But if you use that, I have a piece of advice for you. If you mention, oh, I saw, you know, last weekend that you did this, or I know how much you love Hemingway. If they ask you, how did you know that? Don't be weird. Don't say, oh, I just had a feeling. No, tell them I saw what you posted on Facebook. Or I saw that, that you had a picture of this thing on Instagram. I saw the vacation on Instagram. Let them know where you're getting the information. Most people put it out there to be consumed anyways. And so I want you to commit to not being weird and pretending like you just have some special information downloaded because that's, that's scary. Then, then you'd feel kind of like a stalker. We don't want you to do that. One of the things I want to point out, I mentioned earlier CRM. If you do not know what a CRM is, Go ahead, do search through my videos. I have multiple videos breaking down what CRMs are and even how you can use them. So just take a moment, look that up if you need a little bit more information. 
we want to make sure that as you're using this strategy, you're informed and you have all the information you need to be successful. I talked about building those relationships with clients and part of that is through something called automation. We live in a world where we have all of this incredible technology that helps us remember things. Because I don't know about you, my memory is not incredible. If I have 100, 200, 300 clients, I can't remember all the details about all of them. I'll usually remember one or two cool key things about each, but I need a little bit of help. So this is where automation comes in. If you're using that customer relationship management system, Maybe you're automating it so it reminds you to shoot them an email or a handwritten note every quarter, or even one of those things, even a phone call, just some type of touch point. Maybe that's what you're doing. Maybe you're getting reminders to send them birthday cards or anniversary cards. I know people in financial services and insurance and even real estate tend to be really good about those things. Now, if you're going to do it, we want to make sure that you're sending them something customized and not something with your logo on it, because you may have seen me say this in other videos. If you send something with your logo on it, it's not a gift, it's a tchotchke. It's a marketing ploy. If you send something that reflects them, then that's about them. In the same way that you wouldn't want your mate necessarily to get you something with their name written on it or with their face on it, unless they're being funny, this kind of works the same way, right? You wanna reflect those things back at the prospect. In addition to automating, there's some other ways that you can automate as well. If you wanna see if they're mentioned online anywhere, maybe they, if they win any awards, if they're mentioned anywhere, go ahead and set up a Google Alert. Google Alerts are a free service from Google that'll let you know as it happens, once a day or once a week, when words or terms that you're following are mentioned online. And so if that prospect has an uncommon name, oh my gosh, a Google Alert can be an incredible way to get a notification. You can also set up a Google Alert on their company. If it's not too massive of a company, if it's a huge company, if you're setting up a Google Alert for Google, good luck. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty, pretty crazy for you. We don't want to do that, right? But we want to automate as much as possible to help us be better partners, to help us remember and make those prospects feel seen. Because ultimately, great relationships are simply about making other people feel seen and understood. Now I mentioned a moment ago about sending gifts to them, but reflecting themselves back at them. There's many different types of gifts that you can do. I like to send cameos, which are videos from celebrities and social media figures and entertainers and sports figures. And they'll create these very short videos where they're addressing the person by name. And if you ask them to mention something, they'll do that. I love to send those because it makes people feel seen by people that they care about or admire. I also use tools like send out cards and touch notes so I can create custom cards, but a lot of times I like to put their own pictures on the front of the cards so that again, they're seeing themselves reflected at them. Sometimes it's putting their LinkedIn picture. Sometimes if I met them at a conference and maybe they're on stage speaking or we take a picture together, I'll use that. Other times if they mention they just came back from vacation on social media and posted a picture, I might use their own picture saying, hey, Happy birthday, I'm glad you took an early trip to celebrate. I just want you to know I was thinking about you too. So we can be really creative with this. Another tool I like to use is Fiverr because there's all kinds of strange people there with strange talents. And so you can get them to create custom videos and all kinds of cool little gifts or memes or things that reflect people back at themselves. There's gifts where you can actually allow them to choose their own nonprofit and maybe it's a monetary amount and they just forward that to the nonprofit or nonprofits they want it to go to. If I know they have kids or maybe they just had a twin grand girls, maybe I get two little shirts or onesies that say, I love my grandma or I love grandma Marcy, specifically mentioning the prospect or client's name and send that out. This is the fun part of building the relationship. This is where you get to delight people by letting them know that you're paying close attention and you see what they're doing and that you want them to know that you see them and value them for who they are. Now, the last piece of the strategy might actually be the hardest part for most people to practice. And that is this, let's say that that prospect goes to a client and then for whatever reason they come from being a client and maybe the business relationship ends. Maybe it comes to a natural end. Maybe they decided to go with a competitor in the end, whatever that looks like. I need you to extend your caring past the business relationship. Now, when I say that, I don't mean anything improper or strange. What I mean is still treat them as a prospect. Maybe you're not following up as much, but you still want them to know that you see them because there's always the possibility that they'll bounce back to you and 
there's always the possibility that just because they're going with one of your competitors, it doesn't mean that they think that all of their peers should as well. So they could still be a potential referral partner for you. But too many business professionals end the relationship because they have hurt feelings because a business relationship ended. So extend your caring, extend that relationship. That's why I said in the beginning, it should not be transactional because if you're only looking at it that way, people can feel it. You don't come across as genuine and they will not send you referrals if they decide to go with someone else. Now, part of the reason why we're looking at this, building these relationships with prospects is because we're thinking about the future, specifically the future of our business. Well, if you'll notice in the description of this very video, you'll see that there's a future ready playbook available for you to download for free. I created it for you and it's full of all kinds of incredible worksheets and activities that'll help you work through planning for the future in a more strategic way than you likely have in the past, whether we're looking at your professional goals, business goals, or even personal goals. So take a moment and download it right now.